Hello everybody, finally back at the tying desk. It's been a very very long time since the last time but uh, I've been uh, working like crazy and finally it started to slow down a bit and um, just to make it uh, simple for me I'm gonna start to do a fly, not a classic one, <laughs> hold your horses. I'm gonna do the one I tied uh, for uh, the river orkla that I catch my salmon uh, a few weeks back. Um, it's, a, it's a nice fly, a bit different, grey and green. Uh, so, I'm gonna do that step by step and uh, testing my new gear. I have a new uh, uh, big MacBook Pro, 16 inch something. Um, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to do some editing and uh, see the changes in quality etc so um, yeah let's begin okay so what i've done uh, so far is to add a three centimeter uh, tube oh three millimeters sorry <laughs> and the length of uh, two centimeter uh, just attach the, the thread uh, to the tube so i'm gonna start with some dubbing and in this case i'm using fine uv ice light olive that was a good choice on that sunny day. So I'm just adding a little bit to the tube. No. Let's see how much we need. Not that much. Like this one, it gives it a nice shine. So, there we go. Now, always brush out the dubbing. There we go. Looks good, shining. So this fly, I actually got this salmon in, in uh, uh, it, it was a cloudy day but sometimes the sun popped out and uh, in this case when the sun arrived uh, I changed to this fly, I took a few casts and boom, there it was, uh, made my day, I was happy, um, other conditions it was uh, about 11 degrees in the water, um, the temperature in the air was between yeah in, in the shadow of 14 degrees Celsius and uh, the water had the, the color of tea clear but tea color um, so if you have a similar river back at your place and uh, give this pattern a try then when the sun hits the river so I need to look at the the fly just to remember what I did. Okay. So I added some dark grey as well. Let me see what I got. I think I used Yes. So, just in front of the UV eyes, light olive, I put silver uh, gray. Just a little bit. Start with the first hackel, in this case green. I didn't use any fancy neck so anything just uh, what I had in my tube fly kit. So like Chinese or Indian neck feathers.
Here we are. We're securing it. Wraps of green. Mm. No, not too much. Actually, use three different uh, colors of hackle on this fly. So we will come to that. piece of the wing, a uh, green polar bear. You can use whatever you fancy to use material wise. Next up is a yellow hacker. So I'm just cleaning out the, the parts I don't want to tie in. And just very easy. Separate the fiber. Okay. 
stuff there. Okay. So a few more strands of this uh, green polar bear. out the piece here and then remove all the, the shorter hair of crystal flash as you see you had oh, to be honest I didn't have that in the beam so then we don't add it that was interesting but the whole body is uh, uh, lighting up anyhow so we don't need to add too much things into the fly in my in my opinion. So then we start with the front tack here. And I did a grey one of that as well. So we're just gonna find a suitable feather. There we are. I actually tied this fly uh, next to the river orc lamp and uh, yeah, it, it did work. It saved my fishing trip. Securing the hat can. And I put 
pulling the feathers let me see if I can get oh, there we are sorry so I'm pulling the feathers backwards while wrapping it around the, the tube ah come on Maybe I have a little bit light. Let me see. I'm gonna add some more. Or maybe I just move it. There we are. Let's see if it stays in focus. I'm trying out the 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 Brio Stream 4K camera. Um, since I. Uh, found the, the summing function so I was my intention is to try if it's good enough so I don't need multiple cameras but yeah I'm not convinced yet so I'm gonna do a few more videos simple videos like this one and see how I can make it work or not See if I turn off the light for a sec. It might be too much. That's the light from above that gives me the issues. So let me see if I turn this one on. Yeah, let's try that one. So last thing uh, I added to this pattern was easy on the sides I don't think it's really necessary but since I did that I included it Same on the other side. Just gonna cut all the leftovers and do uh, some varnish and then yeah the fly is ready so quick one sunny day blue skies in a tea colored river around 11 12 degrees in the water give it a try I'm just gonna post a better close-up picture uh, and I can varnish it the 
first wraps. So I use transparent varnish first and then I do uh, black just to make the head pop out a bit and look nice. And then of course it uh, lasts for a long time when you fish, fish with it. length of the fly about five centimeters so you can try to make different sizes and see what what will work for you there we are it's a gray and green orcla gray and green That's a good one. So I'm just gonna do one of these. Cut the thread. And as you've seen, this is the one I used. Still looks fishy. Nice one. Maybe I get my next salmon on that one next year. So, I would add a picture in the end just for a better oversight of the pattern. So, <laughs> that's how, how you tie that. Uh, um, Gray and green uh, that I use in River Orcla. So I'm just gonna call it Orcla Gray and Green. Uh, not not hard. So I started to do some uh, black varnish in the top, and when I'm done, I'm just gonna cut the leftover of the tube, and uh, the fly is uh, done. Um, nice, lethal, nice weather. To play for Atlantic salmon, uh, most likely any salmon. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the short but uh, again, nice video. Uh, I'm gonna do a few more the, the coming days, but uh, um, I'm gonna try to see uh, how, how the, the camera is working, uh, out of focus versus uh, different lights, uh, just to make sure it stays in focus. Uh, I noticed during this video sometimes it did blur out, so yeah, I need to sort that out. Um, but anyhow, uh, have a nice weekend, take care and stay safe out that there. Uh, tight lines, bye.